The Cytoviva Fluorescence Imaging System enables researchers to see live samples in real time at sub-100 nanometer resolution with or without fluorescent labels. With the Cytoviva system, not only can you see your fluorescent labels, you can see them in the complete context of the sample, such as live cells, bacteria, and non-biological materials, again, in a real-time environment. By simply attaching the easy-to-use Cytoviva system to existing microscopes, researchers can observe biological and nanomaterials, emulsions, nanoparticles, and composites individually and in combination with labels, highlighting important features and their intended application. This brief video demonstrates how to set up the Cytoviva Fluorescence Imaging System. To set up the Cytoviva Fluorescence Imaging System you will need the following. Your microscope, equipped with the Cytoviva recommended emission filter, a Cytoviva adapter, two light guides, a fluorescence modulation unit, and the light source. The unit is compatible with the XFO Excite 120 and with a Solark unit. A Solark light source can be used for basic fluorescence techniques, however, considering the intensity and spectral characteristics required for most fluorescence, we recommend using the XFO. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will use the XFO. Please note, when using the XFO light source, an emission filter must always be in place. To set up the system, take the light guide from the light source and fully insert it into the rear port of the modulation unit and gently tighten the thumb screw. Next, fully insert the light guide from the Cytoviva adapter to the front port of the modulation unit, again gently tightening the thumb screw. Remember, prior to turning on the XFO, ensure the emission filter is in place. At this point, you will now want to turn on the light source. The position of the filter may vary depending on the configuration of your microscope. The filter may be in a filter tray or a filter cube. Now it is time to become familiar with the fluorescence modulation unit. Identify the following features. The four filter locations, the coarse adjustment knob, the fine adjustment knob. These numbered positions correspond to the full fluorescence mode of the filter. The coarse adjustment knob allows for the convenient selection of filters. Turn the coarse knob. Note the tactile sensation associated with each filter position. The fine adjustment knob is used for precisely modulating between full unfiltered modes and full fluorescence. Observe the effect as the fine adjustment knob is turned. The key feature of our system is that the user can easily transition between any combination of these modes. By simply turning a single knob, you can easily transition between and superimpose fluorescence and unlabeled structures without the use of complicated microscope adjustments or complicated software and electronics. After you have finished viewing this video, it would be advantageous to go to the Cytoviva website to review the instructional video that demonstrates how to set up and align the Cytoviva adapter. Alignment for this system should be conducted with the fluorescence modulator in the non-filtered mode. Cytoviva's ability to simultaneously image fluorescent and non-fluorescent sample structure eliminates the need for complicated software or electronics to create overlay images. Cytoviva's high contrast, high resolution capability allows you to observe live cell structure at a level of detail not obtainable with traditional imaging techniques. For more information or assistance, please contact one of our technical sales specialists at 
3130 or email us at info.cytoviva at atostech.com. We look forward to hearing from you.